you aware that in every single movie you've watched from Hollywood, the good guy is actually the bad guy and vice versa, the bad guy is really the good guy? In every movie. That's why when the bad guy in the movie does his bad guy rant and you listen to it, you're like, you know, that's not... That's not uh, that's not so crazy. Like, yeah, you've been screwed over, Ray, 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 blah, 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 and you're you're getting back at the people that screwed you and your entire, I don't know, country over, and you're taking an act of justice. But they're the bad guy. But when Batman does it, it's okay. No, when you watch a movie, flip the perspective, flip the perspective every single time, and realize that the good guy that you're rooting for is really the bad guy and the every single movie takes a completely new twist watch Transformers Transformers first of all Optimus, Superman, Spider-Man they're all bad guys Okay, they're all like super patriots America, red, white, and blue that, that's their colors, even Optimus, red, white, and blue now Megatron is like yo Optimus, nigga we are gods. Let's get the fuck back home and continue doing our god shit. And Optimus is like, oh no, I've got to stay here and protect the humans from you. He's like, nigga, I'm trying to leave here. Like, they sucking your dick? Are you stupid? Optimus, let's get the fuck out of it. Let's go. And then, and then, if you watch Beasties growing up, every single time, they were on that planet. Every time Megatron got off the planet and tried to go into space and leave, Optimus, bring him back down. Megatron got in the ship, Optimus, no, come back here, Megatron. <coughs> Fucking Megatron turned into a dragon, tried to fly off and out of space, like, no, get back here, Megatron. Freaking strapped him to a ship. You know what I'm saying? Megatron got some energy on him, supercharged himself, tried to fly away again, like, no, get back here, Megatron. You're staying here with me, motherfucker. It's like, what the hell? And on top of that, the Transformers, the good guys can't fly. Good guys. Does that make any fucking sense? Does that make any sense? Why are all the good guys stuck on the ground and the bad guys have the advantage? Now flip that in the real world. In the real world, after watching Transformers, nobody's as aspiring for flying cars. Nobody is aspiring for flying cars anymore. Now they just want Bumblebee. We're on the ground. What happened to the Jetsons? Like, we just gave up on fucking flying cars and shit. <coughs> Who's on the ground? The good guys, right? Everybody wants to be Bumblebee, Optimus. Stay on the ground, motherfuckers. Don't look up, because you can't get out. Another topic. Who controls the airwaves in the cartoons? Or in Transformers. The bad guys. The bad guys all fly. Don't go fly up in the air. You don't get fucked up. Scoops! Physical world. I would say real life, but I don't know what's real anymore. Physical world. Who controls the air? The government. That's their airspace, right? NASA, right? Or NASA. So, in precluding ions... When you watch a movie, flip the perspective. It will be a lot more entertaining as well. That's all.